Namaste everyone, myself Saurav Ruturi and today we are going to talk about the engagement of the abdominal muscles and we will reduce, we will do some like poses which will reduce our belly fat. So let's begin our class, sit in any comfortable position and gently close your eyes. Take a deep and long breath in and deep and long breath out. Keep your spine nice, long and elongated. Bring that awareness in your breath, in your mind, in your body. Prepare your body for today's class. Bring that intention inside you of learning and join your both palms together. We'll open our class by a mantra, <clears throat> by a Guru Mantra. Take a deep breath in. Om Guru Brahma, Guru Vishnu, Guru Devo Maheshwara, Guru Sakshat Param Brahma, Tashme Shri Guru Venamaha. Bow down to the Trinity of the God, Brahma, Vishnu and Mahesh, Brahma who is Creator, Vishnu who is preserver, Maheshwara or Shiva, the destroyer of the evil. I bow down to all three Gurus and I acknowledge them. Rub your both palms together. Place it on your eyeball. Now slowly while blinking, open your eyes. Sit in any comfortable position. Raise your both arms up while inhale. Exhale, drop your right hand on the right side or your right fingertips and bend your head towards the left side. Move your head front and back. Just feel that nice and gentle stretch on your neck. Inhale back to the center again. Exhale, drop your left fingertips or your left hand on the left side. Now bend your head towards the right. Now move your head again front and back. Inhale, both arms up. As you exhale, drop your left palm out of your right knee. Take your right arm back. Now twist with your thoracic. Bring your both shoulders in one line. Use your left arm strength to like go deep in the posture. As you inhale, reach your arms up. As you exhale, drop your right palm out of your left knee. Place your left palm or your left fingertips behind your back. Keep twisting with every exhalation. Inhale again back to the center. Exhale. Drop your hands down. Try to go forward. Keep going down. Inhale, come up. And exhale, drop your hands on your knees. Now from here, we'll start making a circle from our spine. Inhale, come up, go back, and exhale, come down. As you inhale, come up, as you exhale, go down. Now from other side, inhale, exhale. Just move your spine properly, back and front. One more time. 
come back to the center while inhalation lift your chest up look up take your head up while exhalation look down make arm on your back push your shoulder blades away protract your shoulder blades keep making a hump as you inhale lift your chest up look up as you exhale come back to the center now from here drop your hands on your mat place your palms under your shoulder your knees under your hip open your palms hip distance uh, open your palms shoulder distance apart and open your knees hip distance apart now from here we'll try to do cow and cat pose so for cow pose inhale look up roll your shoulders try to push your shoulder blades away and your sorry your shoulder blades together and your shoulders away from your ear look up towards the ceiling tuck your tailbone out and keep pressing with your palms properly in the mat so you can lift your chest up elevate your spine exhale try to tuck your tailbone in press with your palms properly and make a hump on your back inhale reach up high exhale tuck your tailbone in keep pressing with your palms make that hump inhale reach up high as you exhale make a hump on your back inhale and exhale so we'll do some uh, wrist movement so we can like warm up for our palms our hands for like abdominal exercises okay so for that try to make a circle so lean towards the right inhale go to the front as you exhale try to come back so how you have to do here you have to keep one thing in mind when you are like leaning just try to press your shoulder blades away press your palm and then push your shoulder blades away like this your hip should be not out your hip should be in and you are engaging your abdomen while tucking your tailbone in now from here squeeze your hips okay and then try to lean each and every side properly if you are going to the right keep your arm nice and straight lean front as you exhale try to come back from the left as you inhale go towards the right as you exhale come back from the left one more inhale front and then exhale back now while inhalation change the side we'll go from the left now we'll keep our both elbows straight push your tip of your fingertips properly do not keep your palms like this okay try to keep your fingers bent and create that space here so you can lean much inhale and then exhale one more inhale and then exhale come back now from here turn your fingers in and your wrist out so as you inhale try to sit back on your heels and feel that stretch which is coming on your wrist exhale lift your hip up inhale again put your hip down push your hip down exhale come up inhale again sit and just feel that stretch which is coming from your wrist do not try lift do not try to lift your palm up from the floor just keep your palm pressing properly as you exhale come back to the center turn your fingers in, uh, again back to the normal front and your wrist in now press the outer edge of your palm and inhale again try to sit on your hip on your feet try to drop your hip on your heel as you exhale come again front again try to sit back and just hold there keep pressing your this out palm properly on the mat and slowly come up change it sit on your 
heels in Vajrasana and try to rotate. Just increase the movement. You feel you will feel a little bit pain in your wrist after doing this wrist mobility exercises. Okay. So as you all know, plank pose is a like very good pose for reducing the belly fat and to increase the abdominal muscles or the abdominal strength. So take your right leg back and your left leg back. Okay. Yeah. Tuck your toes. <coughs> And try to shift your weight on your hands from your legs. So try to push your like toes front, your heel front. And here you have to push your shoulder blades away. Do not keep your hip down like this. In this you are pressuring your lower back and you will not get any benefit in your abdomen muscles. And you will feel more pain in your lower back if you do a plank like this. Just try to push your belly up like this. Okay. And then push with your palms. Protract your shoulder blades here. Protraction means you are pushing your shoulder blades away from each other. So push your shoulder blades away here and try to lean front. Rotate your this hand a little bit out. Shoulder rotation, rotation should be outside, not inside. So rotate your shoulders out properly. Create that range of motion or two so you can lean into the plank pose properly. So I'm creating the space in my shoulder and then I can see you can see that I can lean more now. Now push your hip in, not out. You will not push your tailbone out like this. This is wrong. You will push your hip in and squeeze your hips. And keep leaning front. If you cannot do a plank pose, uh, full plank pose, you can try the bend knees plank pose like this. Knees bend, toes tuck. Push your shoulder blades like a cow po uh, cow cat pose and then try to lean. This is the basic one. If you want to advance it, just keep going back with your knees and then push your shoulder blades away, lean front, tailbone in. This should be the plank pose for the beginner, like this. Okay, so from plank, drop your knees, chest and chin on the floor. <clears throat> Inhale, swing yourself up for the cobra. Exhale, roll back to the mountain or downward facing dog. Breathe in, breathe out. Try to press your heels on the mat. Bend your legs one by one. Come into plank. Now lift your right leg up high in the air. Go to the downward facing dog. And then exhale, bring your right knee on your right elbow. Point your toes, backside. Try to touch your thighs on your chest push your hips down and hold one two keep pushing with your palms press with your palms and three inhale again take your right leg back exhale now bring your right knee on your left elbow or your left armpit one two and three inhale take your right leg back exhale drop your right knee down as you can see that i am nicely our body is warmed up now by doing this some exercises and we are we have prepared our wrist also so if we'll not do a proper warm-up of our wrist we can feel pain after the class so that's why we have done first some wrist warming up exercises <clears throat> so now we'll change our leg lift your left leg up and then exhale, bring your left knee on your left armpit or your left elbow, wherever you can reach. Press with your palms and hold for three counts. One, you can increase the counts after the regular practice. Two and three. Inhale, take your left leg back. As you exhale, bring your left knee on your right elbow now. One, breathe in, breathe out. Two, and three inhale take your left leg back exhale slowly drop your left feet down the mat paddle your legs reach your hip high again come for the full plank and from there drop your elbow first right elbow then your left elbow or you can drop your both hands together if you are comfortable here also in elbow plank 
you have to push your shoulder blades and again tuck your tailbone in keep your body in one line and lean front if you want to advance it you can bring your one knee front towards your elbow and you can hold it here hold according to your capacity and then take your right leg back and then change your left leg Take your left leg back, drop a knee, chest and chin down for baby cobra. Lift up, do some counter for here. Keep looking up towards the ceiling. Catch your breath here to few counts. Now press your palms. And take your legs, tuck your toes, take your hip up for downward facing on the mountain pose. Pedal your legs one by one. Now bend your both knees, jump up. Come down, come on your hip and take your legs up for boat pose. This is the boat pose. Legs up, keep your back neck straight, do not do like this. This is wrong. You can bend your knees, but do not make that hump on your back. You will not feel the engagement in your, in your abdomen if you stay like this. So try to roll your shoulder, open your chest, legs straight, hold. One, keep looking up and front. Do not look like this. You will feel pain in your neck. Keep your neck and your body in one line. Two, and three, press your palms. Lift yourself up, exhale down, again. Keep breathing, press your palm, again lift, drop it down. If you cannot lift like this, you can press your both outer edge of the feet and then lift your hip up, drop it down and then straight your leg. And you can bend your knee if you're a beginner and keep your hands like this in parallel to the floor. Push your leg back, lift your chest up. Hold there. Deep breathe in, deep breathe out. Feel that burningness in your abdomen or the fat muscles. Belly muscles. From here, slowly drop your legs down and lay down on your back. Deep breathe in, deep breathe out for a few counts. Now both legs together. Lift your one leg at 90, another leg at 30. Change your leg. Okay, one thing in, uh, keep, in, uh, keep in mind one thing that you have to not tuck your tailbone out like this. Do not make any arch to lift your legs up. What will happen if you will make an arch for lifting your legs up? You are giving all the pressure on your lower back and that is not correct. You will not feel any engagement in your core muscles. It will tuck your tailbone out or make an arch on your back. So properly push your tailbone in, flat your whole spine on the floor. I can feel that my spine is properly on the mat now. Then I am lifting my legs up, change. The leg which will come up, tuck your toes in, the leg which will go down, point your toes front. You can do 15 to 30 in one set. Make your, your own set so you can do it. Keep changing your legs and then slowly drop your legs down. Shake your legs. Okay, if you're trying your best to like keep your tailbone in, but then also it is coming back, then it means you have lack of abdominal strength. So you, what you can do, you can take your hands like this on your lower back. Keep your hands and then you can try this exercise. 
or you can put some cushion under your like lower back for the support you can do like that also now we'll change our exercise now we'll lift our both legs together at 90 degree and then we'll bring our legs down at 30 degree inhale up while inhalation lift your leg up while exhalation bring it down just feel you can press your hands so you can feel that engagement inhale up exhale down inhale up exhale down inhale up exhale down <laughs> Slowly drop your legs down, shake your legs. Take a few deep inhale and exhales. Now stretch your both hands up and your legs down point your toes up and interlace your fingers your whole upper body should be stretching up upside and whole lower body should be stretching lower side so keep point keep your body fully stretched and activated your muscles you can now bring your hand down you relax with legs relaxed. Now try to lift your chest up and your legs up like this. Okay, lower uh, both pose. Now from here, bend your right knee and hold it there. Try to touch your feet or bring your hands up closer to your feet. Do not grab it. Okay. Now take your hands back and your bend your right leg at the knee. Again, come up. Bring your hands closer to your right feet. Again, take your hands back, change your leg. While inhalation, try, while inhalation, try to lift yourself up. While exhalation, try to come back. Okay, while inhalation, lift. Exhale, change and hands back. Slowly leg down, shake your leg. Try to catch your breath here. Okay, both hands back over your head and your legs down. Now while inhalation, you have to lift your right leg up and touch your left big toe with your right hand while lifting up. But keep your left leg and your left, uh, keep your right leg and your left leg, left hand lifted off from the floor. Now change. While exhalation, go back. While inhalation, come up. Slowly down. Shake your legs. Shake your legs. Feel that burning legs. Feel that activation in your abdomen. Feel that pain in your abdomen. Take a deep breath in and out. Prepare yourself for the upcoming pose or upcoming asana. Now 
and bend your both legs at the knee and hug your legs inhale and with exhale try to touch your chin or your nose on your knees inhale put your head back exhale and drop your legs down now drop your left feet out of your right knee and then drop your left knee on the right side you can place your right palm and then you can press your right knee on the left side left knee on the right side look towards the left side keep pressing it down now we are doing a counter poses for whatever we have done the abdominal exercises or our belly exercises so we'll twist our belly a little bit change your leg now place your right feet out of your left knee now drop your right knee on the left side you can press with your left palm right knee down look towards the right your both shoulders should be down do not lift your shoulders like this or from the floor okay shoulders should be down you will just twist from your belly and you will feel on your thoracic as well inhale back to the center open your legs release your legs shake your legs and then bend your both legs okay now interlock, interlock your fingers under your hip and then try to push your hip up make a nice bridge from your body keep your legs pressing and keep reaching with your hip high open your chest feel the stretch in your neck in your back and your belly slowly drop hip down and straight your leg shake your leg relax into shavasana push your tailbone in drop your left feet on the left side right feet on the right side your palms facing towards the ceiling little bit chin in Take a deep breath in and deep breath out. Normalize your heartbeat, normalize your body. Feel that energy which is created by today's practice. Feel that energy, feel that prana inside you. Now move with your fingertips, move with your toes, move your head back to right, right to left. Now bend your left leg and then turn towards the right side. Like pillow of your right hand and place your left palm in front of your chest. Now press with your left hand and then sit in any comfortable position on your mat. Keep your back neck straight. Keep your palms on your knees. Now you can feel that your body is relaxed. Your muscle is relaxed. And you are physically and mentally prepared for your upcoming work or upcoming day. 
Now join your both palms together. We'll chant a mantra and we'll finish our class by chanting a mantra. Take a deep inhale. Om Asatoma Sadagamaya Tamasoma Jyotirgamaya Mrityorma Amritam Gamaya Lead us from this unreal world to real world. Lead us from darkness to light. Lead us from death to immortality. Gently bow down your head towards God and we'll thank God for giving us strength and energy for today's class. While blinking, open your eyes, looking at your palm. Namaste to all.